This video is about making the coolest night light ever made. So we're just sitting here looking at, this is what it looks like projecting up on the ceiling. Changing colors. So let's go through how we made this thing and, and all, as always, you know, the code is up on my website. So the way this started is I had some extra strips of W, what are these, W, WS 8612Bs, right? These uh, NeoPixel strips. I had some extras of those. And then I had a bunch of these lenses. Now this, this lens is out of an old projection television. Okay, you can, most of the time people are giving these televisions away, but they have, you know, a, a red, a green, and a blue projection lens in there, and you get these big, huge, crazy lenses, right? And I realized that if you shine these things through there, they would project. All right, so I took nine LEDs, now I put them on this little board and a three by three grid. Then I, here's this is the power coming in. So I'm using five volt power coming in, and then this is a reducer. So it, there's the chip that reduces it down. This is this is a linear reducer so that it doesn't create too much noise in there. Okay. So this reduces it down to the 3.3, .3, and then this is an ESP. Zero 01, which is an ESP M8622 uh, on a little tiny chip. You get you only get two input output pins, but in this case we only need one input output pin to, to run the NeoPixel strip, right? So I made a socket for it right there. Now you'll see this was the original board. Okay, it was a board, but I need a little extra space, so I just cut these these little wings out of another piece of this board glued them right on the side there, hacked, hacked, soldered some stuff together. All right, so that's the whole uh, board right there. And then I needed a case. So this looks, this ended up looking pretty good, but that is just a piece of three inch PVC sewer pipe. This is a piece of plywood. I know it looks like uh, something from the Illuminati, but it's not. I just put it on a little piece of wood when I painted the box and it put that crazy symbol on there. Okay, but it's just a piece of plywood. The plywood, if you can see in there, the plywood has some little holes. I'm going to put these standoffs in there uh, to put the board on. And then the lens will fit right down in there. So this is my power cord. The lens will fit right on top of that thing and hold, sort of just sit right in there. Now, it's important you have to figure out the distance above. If you put it down too close, they'll project, but they'll be really spread out. You won't be able to see anything. If you put them up too high, it'll actually focus the NeoPixel onto the ceiling. Okay, so you have to adjust your stuff. So I kind of got it figured out. I know where it needs to be. I know that that the board needs to be a, a half inch up. That's the way I made it. Where the board's a half inch off the plywood and then when I put the lens on there, everything will come out just right, okay? So right now I'm gonna put this board together and then we'll come back. All right, now power cord coming in. This is a five volt adapter. And here we've got our board. So it's on standoffs and it's screwed on four corners. This is our ESP01 right here. This is our power reducer here. I put this extra capacitor on there to smooth out the 5 volt power. And there are our LEDs. Or not LEDs, you know, NeoPixels. Alright, so now I'm going to turn this on. I'm actually just plugging it in. And that's the first one coming up to brightness. And here come all the rest of them. All right. So it's going to sit just like that. And then our lens. I, re I recessed this in just a little bit. Just cut a little groove around there. 
There's our lens, sits right in there, and just like that. And then if I take the camera out, and we can probably peer into into there so we can see the LEDs or uh, NeoPixels. That is the ESP over there. There's your power supply and cap. And a few little wires here and there. And we are ready to go. Oh, there's a LED. So basically what's happening is every 10 seconds one turns off and changes to a different color. See, that one just turned off, changed to a different color, and it's turning back on. And then it's projecting up onto the ceiling. You probably, now we can kind of see it here, but I've got all the lights on, so it's, it's difficult to see. So we'll do it with some, we'll do some more pictures with uh, without the lights. Well, now we're just laying in Ben's bed, looking up at the ceiling. This is this is the way the LEDs project. So every 10 seconds, one of them goes out, comes on as a different color. So the bottom one's doing it now, down by the ceiling fan. It's hard to describe this, but it, it's really pretty cool. Covers up, I don't know, about a quarter of the ceiling space. Yeah, I see that one on the right just came in green. Yep. All right. This is the coolest night light ever. <laughs>